This is going to be my first video I've ever put up. So I'm going to show y'all how to do a very simple fly. I got on a uh, number 10 uh, Dairiki streamer with a number 10 bead. First thing you're going to do is put the bead on. And then you're going to take 025 wire. I like to wrap it just a few times, eight or ten times. It doesn't have to be exact. Turn that up flush. And then push it right into the bead there. Next, you're going to need UTC, UTC 140 in red. Go just behind the lid, right back to capture. Cut off the excess tag. Come forward and build you a little thread dam behind that thread, behind the lid, just to make sure it doesn't slip back. Then you're going to wrap back to the bend of the hook about where the barb is. And for those of you who fish barbless, it's nothing to uh, mash down the barb on this when you go fishing. Or just use a barbless hook when you tie this. Next thing to do, I like to take some of this uh, yellow or uh, sometimes I'll use I use white. Actually, I may I'm just gonna go ahead and use the white because I like the white. You want it about oh about a shank's length. Do a pinch wrap. I like to do it twice. And then wrap a couple times on top of that. Lift up and snip off close. Then you want to capture what's left. Now, you're actually going to do a body completely in this thread. That's how easy this is. The body's completely thread. Take a little bit of time. 210 would have been better, but I don't have any. 210 wouldn't have used up quite as much thread. But 140 will do just fine. You just use a little bit more thread, that's all. I like giving it a little bit of a taper. You want to make sure you cover up. Feather flying all around, please. Make sure you cover up the lead. That's not too bad.
Now I'll give it a twist counterclockwise just to flatten out the thread, flatten out the body. And really this is more for you as the fisherman just to make it look nicer. My experience, the fish don't really care. But it does make a nicer looking fly because it flattens out the thread and gives you a flatter looking body. And you'll have to twist that thread counterclockwise maybe two or three times until you get to the end. Then twist it clockwise again, twist that thread back up just a bit. Now, I'm going to take some Estaz. I use butter rum. Clip off about a four and a half, four, four and a half inch section. It sounds like a lot, but you should be able to get at least a couple flies out of this. And you're going to tie that on at the rear, capture it, and go all the way up. Put your thread back up behind the bead and you're going to start wrapping and you want open spiral wraps. Try to space them out as evenly as you possibly can. Then I'll take that, capture it, go over it once, come around, go on over on the other side. I'll do that a couple times. Snip off the excess. Make sure your thread is out of the way. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to cut off the excess and I've accidentally cut the, let, the thread. It's extremely aggravating. Then you do a half hitch or a whip finish. For a whip finish, you simply take your string. Take your thread, see this point here where it bends, you're going to hold the ball, you're going to push down on that, and then wrap over the top until you form a triangle, and then pull to that corner of that triangle is right behind the bead, and then let go of that ball here, start twisting. Two or three times, you should be good. And snip off the excess thread, nice and flush, and there's a the golden retriever. If you like it, let me know. If there's anything I could change, like I said, this is my first video, let me know. And if there's any flies that you want to learn how to tie, let me know. And I'll try to put out as many videos as I can. Thank you and have a nice day.